On Weon's special coverage of U.S. presidential polls, we put the spotlight on the swing state of Georgia today, which is considered to play a key role in the outcome of the presidential elections. The battleground state has had both a blue phase and a red phase in the past few years. Biden had won the state by nearly 11,000 votes in 2020. Can Kamala Harris repeat that success this November? We'll find out. The battleground state of Georgia remains one of the top prices in the presidential election. With 16 electoral votes, Georgia is in the top 10 among all states in the United States of America. In 2020, U.S. President Joe Biden became the first Democratic presidential contestant to win the state since Bill Clinton in 1992. Biden defeated Trump in Georgia by less than a quarter of percentage point, that is a margin of 11,000 votes. In a sense, Georgia has had both a blue phase and a red phase in the past. It is extremely pivotal for the race to the White House, as eight of the past 12 Georgia winners have ultimately won the presidency. Both Trump and Harris have made several visits to Georgia, especially after Hurricane Helene caused massive destruction in the battleground state, claiming 200 lives. Harris also appeared alongside Obama for the first time since the start of her campaign in Georgia. Meanwhile, Trump has also held a slew of rallies in Georgia with his running mate, J.D. Vance. He urged his supporters to just vote. Let's now see how Georgia has voted in the past. While Biden won the battleground state in 2020, in 2016, the mandate to the red camp with Trump winning the polls with a wider margin of about five percentage points. In 2012 as well, the battleground state was won by the Republicans. Talking about the demographics of the Peach State, 49.6% of the population is non-Hispanic white. Nearly a third of the population, that is 33.2%, is black. 11.1% is Hispanic and 4.9% is Asian. Women voters are another pivotal voting bloc and comprises over 51% of Georgia's population. A slew of issues are on the ballot for the Georgians. 25% of Georgian adults said that preserving democracy was on top of their mind. Apart from that, 24% of surveyed residents chose immigration. Similar percentage of people cited inflation as their top concern. Meanwhile, 8% cited abortion as their top priority. While well, polling is excruciatingly close in Georgia. With Harris and Trump tied in a neck-and-neck -neck battle in the battleground state of Georgia, experts say for Trump to win Georgia, he needs to keep the state's sizable Republican base together. Meanwhile, for Harris to win, she must appeal to black voters in large numbers. With all eyes on Georgia, the big question is, will Democrats continue to triumph in the battleground state or will Donald Trump reinstate the status quo and win it back? We will report, we are on World This One.